All right, welcome to another video of the Target Individual Program. So, with all the noise they were making earlier, they revert back to their uh, surveillance in the home uh, with the, again, the remote no monitoring beeping every time I, I hold uh, anything white in my hands, like a napkin or like I was folding uh, laundry. And that's fallen, uh, you know, t-shirts, tank tops, you know, socks, what have you. And they would start with the car honking inside, right? And again, being trying to be very discreet at doing it. So again, uh, they, they may like to, you know, I guess at the times like this when they feel emboldened, when they feel that they are big and brave. One thing I forgot to mention too is that I, when me and my daughter was walking to the KFC, it was a, again an unmarked police car, uh, and, um, and and a, another, a blue and white uh, police car behind. You know, sirens loud and everything like that. And uh, and I should have recorded it. You know, but I had my my I was holding my daughter's hand and I had my cane in my other hand, so I really couldn't uh, record it at that time. But I've shown you enough videos where you see police with their harassment, the noise campaign, and stuff like that. So. You know, but I would like to address one thing. Um, I gotta make a I gotta make a video because when you type in my name in YouTube to find my channel, uh, they seem to what 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 they have done is put this. Um, there's a doctor, doctor. Um, uh, what is his name? Uh, but he does a video, a target individual video, and trying to say that TIs are delusional and stuff like that, right? And I want to give you guys some history about psychiatrists and psychologists within the United States who, uh, you know, work with the CIA, the FBI, the uh, state and local police to hide their psychological crimes against uh, the public or those uh, living in their state, in their city, and then, uh, you know, and put out these videos in order to discredit us. You see, everything I talk about, I'm not just talking about it. I'm showing it. Okay? When I talk about... Hold on a sec. Alright, so when I talk about what's been done to me, I've shown you guys plenty of evidence that these, that these sort of programs do exist. And, uh, you know, you can go back to the uh, East Germany. The use of psychiatry and the use of psychologists, psychiatrists and psychologists to discredit the victims of a state-run psychological program that is meant to destabilize them in every facet of their life. So again, this is nothing new. Uh, the Germans did it with the Jewish, uh, with the Jewish citizens of Germany, but they did it in a much uh, cruel way, uh, and and well, I shouldn't say much cruel way, but they did it in you know, where they were literally exterminating them, but at first they ran a psychological campaign, right? So when they ran that psychological campaign, what they did was create a mentality within the Jew within the German people, who are non-Jewish, to look at the Jews as their enemy and to hate them and despise them, okay? So when you see these psychologists and psychiatrists saying these things, do not believe them. Right now, I'm not saying that there aren't people out there who are, uh, you know, uh, have a mental um, have mental issues. I'm not saying that. But what I'm saying is that you guys got to be smart enough to understand when you're being lied to and you're being played. And when someone like me comes along, who, despite everything that they've done and continue to do, continue to do these videos, because again, they are trying to tell me if I continue to do this video, you know, that I'm guilty of whatever crime that they're uh, accusing me of. But is, isn't that what, you know, criminals in law enforcement would do to cover up their crime? Isn't that what the CIA would do to cover up their crime or the FBI would do to cover up their crime? The illegal implantation, the illegal uh, psychological operations? And particularly when you have those within the NYPD who have a lot to lose. Because you remember, they may say, okay, I'm crazy, right? But just go look at the record of the NYPD.
Go look at police officers who complain about racism within their department. What is the first thing that they do? What is the first thing that they do? They make, they say, okay, you need to go to a psych, a psych eval. You need a psych eval. Okay, and these are black men, black and brown men and women who complain about racism. Okay, so y'all not going to play this game with me. Okay? You're not going to project who you are onto me. And I'm going to expose every tactic, every frame of everything that you are guilty of. You, the architect of these, these programs, these perps out there. Not UTIs, okay? You are victims of a criminal organization, of a criminal entity, okay? Of a corrupt government, of a corrupt uh, law enforcement agencies and security agencies who have run amok in neighborhoods, particularly black and brown neighborhoods, okay? Who've used these neighborhoods as a playground to experiment, to run setups, frame ups, to send many of us to to jail. All right, I post an article about you see what they do in the justice system with the jurors using color coordination tactics. Okay, but I'm crazy. Man, they sure got y'all dupe as shit. And y'all are really sheeps. Okay? Y'all are really, really sheeps. Right? So they may try to deny saying that these technologies don't exist about the technology that talks about uh, creating uh, voices into people's head. Create, you know, using their own inner, inner voice, their own inner thought. But there's plenty of evidence out there. And you'll see what's been happening that they have been deleting things off of the internet. Particularly the video called In the Minds of Men with Dr. Preeta Bragan. Right? They deleted that video. You can even find that video now. Also, the video, uh, another video, the article, I think it was, I'm not sure who, is. A, it's not Scientific America, but it talks about the experiment of Dr. Robert Heath. Right? Who says that, you know, experimenting on niggas was cheaper than experimenting on animals. Because niggas were cheap, and they and they were of a of abundant, and there is an abundance of them. See, they're trying to sanitize history. They're trying to get rid of the things that they're guilty of, because they want you to believe that they're the good guys. You understand? Do you understand that? Okay. Do you really understand that? And those within the religious organization, religious leaders, they want to think that they're good, but they're not. They want to think that, you know, God anointed them. No, they anointed themselves. Because if they read the Bible, how the hell can God anoint you when God can't even speak to you? And your own Bible tell you that. So when you go around talking about, oh, God told me this or God told me that, you know, you're a liar. Because your own Bible tell you God do not speak to humans anymore, to people anymore. And your so-called Jesus was the last person that he spoke to. So how the hell are you talking about God anointed you? See, this is the tricks and the, and the manipulation that they play on the minds, the feeble minds. They may try to say, oh, my mind is feeble. No, it is not. My mind is strong because you know what? I'm not accepting your bullshit indoctrination. Okay? That's how I know my mind is strong. And yet, you will call me crazy. Fine, call me crazy. I'll tell you what. Anybody out there who have rejected your bullshit religion, you want to label them as crazy? Then fine, we'll all be crazy. But if we're crazy, you're fucking insane. All right? So anyway. So now this psychiatrist who they have uh, under my... Um, when, I, when you do a search on my name on YouTube... To, to try to discredit me because he's some it says doctor whatever whatever remember there are many doctors psychiatrists and psychologists medical doctors neuroscientists who have engaged in horrific non-consensual human experimentation and to cover up their crimes they use psychiatry and psychology to get away with it okay even the CIA remember the term the conspiracy theory who coined that term? 
Okay, for those of you you don't know, it was the CIA, right? When people started asking questions about the assassination of JFK, when they started searching for the tr truth, what did the CIA do? The CIA created the term conspiracy theorists to make this idea crazy. All right. Remember, we've been talking about, as T.I.G., we've been talking about the surveillance state for how, how long. And then what happened when Edward Snowden leak came out? All right? Now, why aren't there any more mass media stories about these things? But y'all not listening, though. But you want me to listen? <laughs> if, if I listen, it will be like the blind leading the person who can see but I tell you what you can try to lead me but when you get to that cliff I won't be going over there with you right because my third eye is open way open more way more open than you would think or you would even imagine that yours could ever be all right so you have to open your mind and be open to say you know what these people who are targeted individual may be right particularly victims like myself and others like Alda um, Misterioso out in, um, out in California Monterey uh, the Monterey Bay area in California okay who have source information directly from the US military from the CIA from the FBI from tech corporations that, been, that you know, like I said, I've been telling you this. All you got, look, go read Dr. Jose Delgado book, okay? Go read Dr. Jose Delgado book. Right, you see, in the past couple of years, they've been saying they've been labeling it as a novel. It is not a novel. It is this man biography. It is this man talking about the experiments that he, he, he that he did, okay, and what is to come, okay? And don't don't buy it. I should say, don't buy it. Go, I say, go read. Don't buy it. If you can get a free PDF copy, get the free PDF copy. Don't support evil. Okay, because that man was evil, along with countless CIA uh, doctors, and also academic academia, in bed with the military and the CIA. You don't believe me? Go do some research. Who fund a lot of their research? It is the U.S. military and the CIA. Now they want to move things to the private corporation so that they won't be held responsible. But rest assured, they are the ones that funding these experimentations. Okay? So yeah, call me crazy all you want. I'm going to keep calling you all insane. I might be crazy, but you all are fucking insane. Okay? Peace. Fuck that. No peace. Have a good night.